Video of the Damned Smile 2 trailer reaction exclusively on the Morbidly Beautiful Network. The funny thing about Smile is that it started as a short film and they let Finn Parker develop it into a major studio release, but it was just going to be on streaming. It was just going to be on the Paramount Plus app. It tested well and they said, oh, we could actually make this a, a big movie. And they did. It ended up making like over $200 million. And so now it's a franchise and it feels very much like a Final Destination kind of thing where audiences are going to show up and just see how it's being executed for this particular installment from film to film. And Finn Parker is staying on as writer and director here, but they're definitely upping the stakes we have a drew barrymore cameo we've left the more relatable world of healthcare and the more gritty crime procedural vibe and now we're in pop star celebrity world and the premise is of course uh, very creepy pasta it's like uh, oh you see a smile and the person dies and if you've seen them now you have the curse and you will smile and die kyle gallner was the last person standing in the previous film we don't know how his character is going to integrate into this film yet this guy who is saying he has traced the curse and that nobody has survived longer than a week you would think that kyle gallner's character is dead but who knows what if this all turns out to be a prequel to the short film and the first film Another way they're upping the stakes here is, oh, we might have a solution for solving the curse is that you have to be medically dead. I don't know that that's ever worked anywhere in any of these horror movies, but I guess you can try. So I'll be honest, this trailer didn't come off as creepy to me as the first film did. I wasn't even sure that it was still Finn Parker. I had to look it up and check. I don't know if this was a story he was burning to tell or if Paramount just gave him a bunch of money and said, come up with another one. I guess we'll have to find out. Will fans of the first one like this one just as much or even more? Is it gonna be another mainstream hit? Are hardcore horror audiences gonna care? Even though the trailer itself isn't that compelling to me, the story is, so I will check it out. But honestly, I'm far more interested in what Finn Parker is going to do with his Possession remake. Thanks for tuning in. Check out the Twitter at Video Damned or on Instagram at Video of the Damned.